An Eastern Iowa family is celebrating the life of their daughter after she committed suicide last month. KCRD TV 9's Brian Tabak shows us how they're telling her story in hopes of sharing resources for anyone who may need help. Like many teenagers, music was an important part of 16-year-old Sanaya Mickle's life. Heavy metal, um, grunge, hip-hop. Her mother, Katherine Townsend, says Sanaya taught herself to play guitar and could oftentimes be heard playing songs from her favorite band. <laughs> Music was her safe spot. It was her, it was her escape. Um, learning something that she didn't have any clue to how to do. Townsend says her young musician was struggling with more than just how to play an instrument. She had a hard time fitting in with others. It's something she first started noticing during the pandemic. When you hear isolation, you have to go in your room, and that's when Sanaya started to take a, a very dark turn. On August 13th, Townsend says her daughter took her own life by taking a mixture of over-the-counter drugs. Saturday, her friends and family celebrated Sanaya's life, shared messages, and remembered the young artist. We love that baby very much. And it was something she was going through in her mind that we can help, you know, and the only way I can deal with this now is to say she had peace. She's at peace. She ain't got to go through the pain no more. Even more, the Townsends want others to hear their story and remember to reach out to friends or family that may be struggling. I started seeing her dark side when I stopped hearing the guitar. We missed a lot of signs, you know. That's why I say, like, our daughter's death is, not, is not, it's a curse, but a blessing at the same time because it opened our minds to so many th things and being able to understand people and, and be more vocal with people around us, you know what I mean? That's her purpose. Really, Chris? <laughs> what? <laughs> you sound good, baby. Are you crying? No. For anyone in crisis, there is always help. People can call the National Crisis Lifeline at 988. That number connects callers to local people who can offer support and understanding.